I think a fair bit about setting the tone for my day or setting the tone for my week. And the actions that I take first thing in the morning seem to have a big impact on how I do that day and what I get done and if I eat healthy. So if I start out, if I get up at a good hour and I work out and I eat healthy in the morning, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. I tend to eat healthy the whole day and, and I just have a better day. So, well, there's a mental element too that I've noticed and I've reminded myself of this many times though I've not followed through. And there's a saying that is, eat that frog. And I originally heard it from a guy by the name of Brian Tracy. And if you've not heard of Brian Tracy, he's worth checking out. Uh, he's been around for a long time. and He's got a lot of great ideas and information out there. But he had this saying, and I don't know if it originated from him, but it was, eat that frog. And basically, it's kind of like this same concept of setting the tone for your day. So if you've got some big thing you've got to deal with, you've got an employee problem that you've got to deal with, or you've got to fire somebody, or you've got a client that's really unhappy, or you've got a coworker issue, or you've got an estimate that you've got to get done. And these, those examples are, these are examples of things that just nag on your brain and your mind and they drain your energy and they kind of suck the life out of you. And so you don't want to do them, but you put them off. And I'm totally talking to me here as I say you, but you know, we put them off and we think about them all throughout our day. It's like, oh crap, I got to talk to that employee. Oh man, I've got to get that estimate done. And we just keep putting it off, putting it off while we check our email, while we do all these other things. And the concept of eat that frog is first thing, as soon as you get up, first thing of the day, whatever the worst thing is you've got to get done for the day, whatever that thing is that's nagging on your mind, um, get it out of the way. So, for example, and I think the saying something along the lines, if you wake up every morning and you eat a frog, that's probably the worst thing that's going to happen to you all day, and the rest of your day will be better. And it's the same concept. Get up and do that, that worst thing. As soon as you get to work, if it makes sense, let that individual go. As soon as you get to work, get that estimate out the door. As soon as you get to work, deal with that client issue and make that phone call. That way it's off your mind, you're, you're relieved, your energy isn't being sucked out of you. You can be the best for your other clients and you can be the best you for your team. So get that worst thing off your plate first thing in the morning and the rest of your day will go better. So I hope that little tip helps. It's one that I probably heard 10, 10 or more years ago that's always stuck with me and I think it's really valuable. Fortunately, I don't always practice it. I probably only practice it about 50% of the time, but when I do, I get better results out of my day.